What's up everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this collar t-shirt 3D mockup for your website, social media, or you name it. First thing we're going to do is head over to my site and purchase the collar t-shirt 3D mockup. You'll see it comes with the Marvelous Designer, Blender, Texture, Photoshop, and ABC file. Don't forget to use the code SUB1K to get 50% off orders over $6. Once you've downloaded those files, you can go over to blender.org and download Blender, which is a 3D design software. Now that you've got that all set up and installed, we can go to our project file and you'll see we have the Blender file as well as the PSD, which is your Photoshop file. You don't have to worry about the textures. If you wanted to make your own customization, you can use the colored shirt ZPRJ file, which will allow you to customize in Clo 3D or Marvelous Design. So let's open up Blender. Once you've opened up Blender, you'll see on the right side you have your layers, so this is your static 360 rotation, just your static shots, walking 360 and then walking straight on. We're going to be working with the walking 360. As you can see, we have a little bit of a rotation going on and once we reveal, we can see we have our design and branding placed. So to change this now, we're going to go back to our downloaded file and open up the PSD. On the left hand side we have the front of the t-shirt, on the right we have the back. Same with the left arm and the right arm. So I'm going to use the logo which I dragged and dropped into Photoshop, copy and paste that and just place it on the left shoulder like so. Just to show you how to change the color of the shirt we can click on this rectangle and simply drag until we're happy with something. When we go back into Blender we'll see nothing has changed yet but all you need to do is go up in the middle here, click on this little shader circle and then go back to the one that we originally clicked on. As you can see we have the result you want. Just to show you how to change your back if you're not happy with that you can go back into Photoshop click on the rectangle tool and let's make it black with white stripes. To get to get rid of these white stripes we can just hide this layer which I'm going to do now and I am going to create a white knight logo and hit save. When we go back to Blender you can see it hasn't updated once again so let's do this and reveal it like so and you should get something that looks like this. For rendering we can select the layer that we want so I'm going to be rendering out this one. Make sure to have both the eye and the camera toggled or else you're not going to be able to see it in the render view. You can go to output, set your resolution so this is your basic video format resolution and we can go into the output folder and we're just going to select in the folder that we have downloaded everything and make a new folder called render and save it into there. From there we're going to go back to the render tab and we're going to set our max sample to 128. If you have a more high-end PC that's better than a MacBook M1 Pro then you can pump this a bit higher but it is going to make your image look a lot better and it will increase your render time. Render times now I'm dealing with about one minute of frame um, and just talking about frames, we're going to be exporting in PNGs. Uh, just because if your PC does crash, you can always start from the frame that it stopped at. So say it's stopped at frame 128, you can just go to here, type in 128, and then you can start again. But if you're exporting a video, once it crashes, you have to restart the whole thing. To see which frame it did crash on, you can go into your render folder, and you can see it indicates the frame at the end of the file name. So that will be 81, that will be 90, so on and so forth. Once you're happy with that, you can go to the top left and click render animation. And it will begin to render frame by frame. If you want to change the background, you can also do that by clicking on this yellow box over here and just go into your shader tab and adjust it like so. From there, you can press save and then render animation again. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, comment, and sub if you're new here, and don't forget to turn the notification bell on. I drop a video once a week, other tutorial or mock-up video. Um, if you need any help, don't forget to join the Discord. I'm always there to help. If you guys do have any issues with your files or just need some help creating something else, make sure to drop me a message in the Discord channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.